So hi out there in Flash Tube Land. This is Tina Fraser coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Wednesday, October 30th at about 11.22 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today on All Hallows' Eve. Um, yes, tonight is the 30th of October. Tomorrow is Halloween. Tomorrow night is our um, trick-or-treat night here in Ohio. They tend to um, change trick-or-treat night. They call it Beggar's Night. Um, this year it is on the 31st. I personally believe it should always be on the 31st because that's Halloween. But um, anyway, the city of Columbus and a lot of the places in Ohio tend to change Halloween night or trick-or-treat night because of whatever safety reasons they have given. And um, it's it, it all comes down to the Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Committee or MORPC, as they're no known as. They um, tend to pick Halloween based on the night of the week that it falls on, that Halloween falls on. Like if it's on a Friday or Saturday night or a Sunday, I believe, they won't have it. They'll have it some other night of the week for whatever goofy reason. But anyway, tomorrow night's our trick-or-treat night. We have our full-size candy bars and our comic books and matchbook cars ready to go. And uh, unfortunately, it's supposed to be really cold and rainy tomorrow night during trick-or-treat so um, my husband and I we get anywhere from about 20 to about 40 45 kids or so um, we don't get a whole lot just because of where our house is located on our street um, there's a corner where the middle house of three houses before an apartment complex um, just past the corner so a lot of kids turn the corner and don't come to our house because of the apartment complex even though we have lights on and we have music playing and usually a fog machine going we're not going to do the fog machine this year because of the rain <laughs> and um <clears throat> hopefully we can still get some kids um but anyway we give out the comic books to the kids that have allergies or you know that might be too young or whose parents don't want them to have candy and um we also give out full-size candy bars because we believe in um giving the kids that come to our house the benefit of the doubt instead of just a bunch of little little teeny pieces of candy we give them a big candy bar they're always their eyes always get really big when we hand them the the candy bars we've done that ever since we've lived in this house and it's been really it's been really good for us so anyway um come to our house tomorrow night if you want to come trick-or-treating and get full-size candy bars um, anyway, I don't have too much of a new update for you. I haven't really been working on my projects, even though I technically go to my stitching retreat on Friday. See, I was working on the hands-on design year of celebrations November, and I was really kind of hoping that, well, last week, um, in the last video, sorry, I'm shaking the camera, but last week in the video that I uploaded for you, I was hoping to get... Um, November done and um, I have it kind of packed away in my camp bag. This is my bag of projects that I am taking to camp with me. It's in my Hello Fall bag that I got at Joann's but I'm taking a couple of big projects, a couple of small projects and at least one new project. I'm taking um, so I'll just show you a couple things that I'm taking with me. I'm taking um, some of my Mill Hill Christmas kits like Mary because you know I can probably finish the beading on her this weekend. Um, I'm going to finish, hopefully finish November and December for Hands On Design Year Celebrations. But there's other Mill Hill kits in here. I am taking my, um, is this Tiny Modernist? My words to live by, Tiny Modernist. I haven't gotten very far. I've only gotten just a little bit of the white frame done, but that is going with me. I am taking my Frosted Pumpkin. Welcome to Pumpkinville. You can see a little bit of my progress there. Um, I am taking, as I said before, I am taking my Amid Amish Life. You can see the back of some of my progress. So, taking Amid Amish Life. Last year, I finished this quilt. And um, I haven't got much much else done on this since last camp, but I finished this quilt at last camp right here. Um, this is the back side, so you're actually looking at the back. It's actually this way. But um, anyway, so yeah, there's that. 
And then the new one I'm taking is, it's in my nice handy dandy little Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree bag. This is um, Snow Village. I have the first part of Snow Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is going to be, I'm going to, I've decided that I'm going to do it all in one big piece of fabric. The piece of fabric that I'm going to do it on is from my um, Picture This Plus Fabric of the Month from Crazy Annie's. I'm going to be using Mirage. This is that um, kind of mottled gray. Looks like stormy gray clouds. Um, so this is going to be the piece that I'm going to stitch my Snow Village on. Um, I don't know if you remember me showing showing you this. But anyway, so this is the piece um, that I'm going to be doing. It's pretty true to color. You know, the mottled gray. Um, so this is, this is the piece that I'm going to be using for um, <clears throat> my Country Cottage Needle, Needleworks Snow Village piece. I'm taking this just in case I want a new start this weekend because I'm not sure what, I, what I'm really going to want to work on after the hands-on design pieces. Um, I may get a little bit more stitching on November done before, re before I leave for retreat on Friday. I just don't know for sure yet. Um, but anyway, this is for um, Little Country, the Country Cottage Needleworks Snow Village. I am getting all of the set. So that is my project. And I have the flosses for the first, first part of the pattern in here ready to go. So aside from my hands-on design year of celebrations, those are the pieces that I am taking to camp. So my whips have been decided for camp. So I'm look, really looking forward to it. Camp Got a Stitch starts Friday afternoon. Sorry about the shaking of the shaking of the thing, uh, the camera. Um, but Camp Got a Stitch starts at fri Friday afternoon. We get to check into our hotel. It's at the Berlin Grand Hotel. I think it's the Berlin Grand Hotel this year. Uh, if it's not, um, I'm sure. Let me double check that. Hold on just a minute. Um, but anyway, it's up in Berlin, Ohio, which is up in Amish country. Um, near Columbus. Uh, it's about an hour and, hour and a half away from Columbus, actually. It's northeast of here, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm planning on going um, going up Friday morning. I have to take a cat to the vet. Once I take to the... Once I take my cat to the vet on Saturday morning, or Friday morning, I am going to come home, pack the car, grab something for lunch, and probably head out, or head out and grab something to eat along the way. Um, I'm hoping to get up there by like 1 or 2 p.m. and do a little bit of shopping um, before I go to the hotel to check in. But uh, anyway, so I check in at the hotel at 3, and I believe the stitching room opens at 5. So um, we'll be stitching until late Sunday night. Um, I paid for the extra night at camp uh, so I could stay Sunday night. So I'm leaving on Monday to come back home. Um, but yeah, it's... Hold on just a minute. Let me do little searching there we go so it is um, let's see camp got a stitch camp got a stitch 22 and the theme is Stitch 22, and it's not loading for me fast enough. So I might just have to do it this way. All right. Bear with me just a moment. Um, let me go in here. Camp got a stitch. Stitch 22. Like, camp got a stitch. Here we go. And I am drinking some milk tonight. It just sounded really good. All right. Camp got a stitch. Um, oh, so it's at the Berlin Encore Hotel and Suites. Um, uh, Berlin Encore is uh, on... Where are they? BerlinEncoreHotel.com <sighs> Should have been a little more, bit more prepared for this. But anyway, um, all right. So, it's a fairly newer hotel in the Amish country, 
here in Ohio. My husband yelling at one of the cats. They're being poopy. So if it's off of Route 39, um, kind of in the Millersburg, um, Berlin area of Ohio, which is in the heart of Amish country. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. There's going to be about 60, 60 some ladies there and, and or gentlemen uh, stitching for the weekend. And um, it should be a lot of fun. I went last year. My, it was my first time going to a retreat, and I had a lot of fun. So um, I don't know who my roommate's going to be this year. Um, last year, I happened to help my roommate and her friends in with their luggage before I even knew that one of them was my roommate. So um, that was kind of interesting. But um, I don't know if those ladies will be there. Maybe they've uh, paired me up with one of them again. I don't know. Maybe I have something, somebody new. So we shall see. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it. But uh, yeah. So um, I'm going to probably be taking... <coughs> well, I'm definitely taking my laptop. I don't know how much videoing or video uh, time I will make for during the con during the retreat at the stitching room because um, you know not everybody likes to be on video and everything like that but I do know that Vanna Pfeiffer the Twisted Stitcher will be there again this year I'm looking forward to seeing her and quite a few other people are there I think Candy Candy Stitches may even be there there's a few other people that'll be there um, there's going to be about 60 65 of us really excited to be there and um, next year I get to take my mom <laughs> because as you know Next week, next Friday, I fly to California to go help my mom pack and move. Um, yeah, the movers come to our house on November 12th. Um, we get the U-Haul, or we're going with the Penske truck. We're getting the Penske truck on the 12th. We're packing the house up. As soon as we pack the house up, we get to leave. Um, my mom and I are planning on heading out around the 14th or 15th to drive back to Ohio with all our stuff. The moving company is going to store our stuff until we... Um, find a house here in Ohio to buy and mom and my husband and I will be roommates for the foreseeable future so uh, we're looking forward to a big change coming to our household in the next six months so yeah um, so in less than in about two to three weeks I will we, Dylan and I will have a roommate and maybe you'll get to finally see her she didn't want to come on when I was in California and doing videos. Um, she was a little, little camera shy, and uh, but you could hear her in the background. But she just didn't want to be on camera. So maybe sometime soon, um, we'll be doing videos together. So or maybe at least she'll have a couple of cameos in some of my videos. She's a crocheter and knitter, so we shall see what she does. So <clears throat> I'm also kind of either dealing with the after effects of some allergies. Um, I was stuffy for a little bit. And had a little bit of a head cold, but I'm really over it right now. Um, just a little residual cough every once in a while. But um, other than that, I'm I'm pretty good and I feel pretty good. The only bummer thing is we've been really slow at work. And it makes for long days. And, well, we're still really slow. And I'm going to be really slow for about the next week. So it's kind of a good thing that I have Friday and Monday off. So I can kind of enjoy myself and um, just have fun stitching. It's going to be a great weekend to kind of sit and stitch. I think it's going to be a little chilly. It might be a little, you know, kind of not necessarily good weather. We're supposed to have rain most of the day tomorrow. Um, and I heard we are also having snow, flur snow flurries. So it's going to be cold enough to snow around here. So we might actually get some snow um, during camp this year. We got some snow during camp last year. Um, but anyway, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So I wanted to show you a couple of things that I got this week. Um, I was kind of looking on eBay. I haven't been on eBay in a long time looking at stuff. And I found, um, two patterns by Donna Vermilion Giampa, the Vermilion Stitcher. Vermilion, yeah, Vermilion Designs by Donna Vermilion Giampa, the Vermilion Stitchery. So this was a pair of patterns that um, I found on eBay, and they had they um, were some sellers were selling them separately. I happened to find a listing where they were both listed together, so I went ahead and bid on it, and I won the bid. So um, I paid the minimum price. I think I paid like twenty bucks for both of them together. So some of the other sites they were selling these patterns for like. 15, 12, 15 bucks a piece. So I got a pretty good deal on it. So the first one is um, Adoring Santa. This 
somebody had stitched this or stitched one of these charts and I just kind of really liked them. I don't have many Santa patterns, so well I do have some Santas, but they're all MLI. Um, the vermilion um, patterns have a lot of blends and blended threads and they use a lot of colors also. Well, it uses a lot of colors, but the style kind of reminds me of Teresa Wensler, and I really like Teresa Wensler designs, so I thought this was cute. So this one is Adoring Santa, and the other one that I got is Whispering to Santa. I thought both of these patterns were really cute, so I added them to my stash this week. I haven't been getting a lot of, a lot of necessarily patterns like this. Um, I haven't been looking on eBay very much, which is probably a good thing. Um, but uh, this would probably be some of the last new patterns that I'm probably going to pick up for a while. Just because we're going to have a lot of stuff going on with um, my mom coming out and, you know, we're going to be house hunting and all kinds of stuff like that. So, yeah, there's, there's a move in my future, you guys. So my whole scenery here will likely change over the next six months. Anyway, so tonight... I got my Garon Tote and Bags Grime, Grime Guard of the Month package. Da, da, da. It is right here. So I shall open it up for you guys and see what it is. <coughs> kind of excited. I don't know what this month's fabric is yet. Da, da, da. <sighs> it's an autumn fabric. It's so pretty, you guys. So this is actually going to go on my November thing. So I get the Garon Toten Bags 11 by 11 Grime Guards every month. Um, I don't know 100% if I will be continuing this into 2020. Um, I might discontinue this so maybe I can get into something else. I did not get into the Crazy Annie's Picture This Plus Fabric of the Month um, subscription this next year. Um, I saw the notification that we had to sign up and kind of forgot about it and then it was sold out by the time I went to go sign up um, to renew so I was like okay well that's cool I've got you know I've got a little bit of stash of fabric on hand so uh, you know it's great that somebody else gets to um, do the picture of this plus fabric of the month um, email, uh, thing with crazy any stitching so this is the grime guard this month you guys oh, I love the way that I love what they do with this. So this is kind of a fall theme. It's got fall pumpkins and apples and berries on it. Um, it looks like cranberries, but but you can see it's got squashes and pumpkins and apples and berries. It has the 11 by 11 Grime Guard tag so I can see what size it is. There's another view. Turn it around this way. There's a view of the pattern. It's very nice. So this is definitely going to go on my November um, hands-on design year of celebration um, thing. Let me get that out for you so you can see. So as I said before, I really didn't have much progress on it um, from the um, stitch night that crossed my heart last week. Um, I'm still kind of working on his on the lapel of the pilgrim and the pants. Um, so yeah, so my Grime Guard of the Month is going on November, so here we go. There we go, yay! There's my November Grime Guard of the Month from Garon Toten Bags. Um, really love these guys. This is on an 8x8, um, Q-Snap. So it, the 11 by 11 fits just perfectly on the 8 by 8. Yes, you can use these on round. I have one of my um, 11 by 11s on a round hoop for, um, where you go? It's buried. For my um, Erica Michaels Scary Berry um, that I'm working on. It's on 40 Camp Gauze. And it's in a um, round <sighs> A round wood embroidery hoop. So these things will work on round, um, round hoops if you don't use Q-snaps. So there you go. There's my Garon Toten Bags uh, November Grime Guard of the Month. Thank you guys. Thank you, thanks to Gary and Ron from Garon Toten Bags. Um, <coughs> they graciously provided me 
a um, $25 gift, gift certificate to their their store on Facebook for um, one of my lucky subscribers. Um, I reached the 500 subscriber milestone um, a little over a month ago. And to congratulate me, they offered a $25 gift certificate to one of my subscribers for their um, their products. And the, the lucky winner was Kathy Davis. She did reach out to me. I got her the information, and hopefully she will shop with Gary and Ron soon and um, post um, what she what she has decided to purchase. So that's really exciting. Um, congratulations to Kathy Davis for winning my 500 subscriber giveaway. And um, because of everything going on in the next three weeks, um, I'm going to kind of put some of the other giveaways that I'm going to be doing um, kind of on the back burner. So you'll see those, especially like the um, the Poppy Diamond painting. That is probably coming up. Um, so I don't know. It may even be the week of Thanksgiving. I don't know yet. It just really kind of depends um, on how things go with the move um, in the next three weeks. So anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you. I just kind of wanted to show you the patterns and show you the Graham Guard of the Month and um, kind of give you some progress right before I go to Camp Gotta Stitch. So um, my next video, um, I may not get uploaded. Um, it may be a couple of weeks. It really depends. I don't know if I'll have time this next week to upload a new video for you. Um, Mainly because once I get home, I have to um, do laundry, and then I have to prepare to pack to go to California. I'm probably not taking very much stitching with me to California, just because we're not going to have a lot of downtime. Um, I don't know yet. Um, just really depends. So, <coughs> and I'm probably going to do a little, uh, hopefully get a couple of little video snippets of our trip um, from California to Ohio. Um, Mom is doing good. Um, the wildfires that are out in Southern California aren't really near her. The nearest one was the one off of the freeway um, <clears throat> in some of the brush along the side of the freeway today in Long Beach, California. That was probably the closest one to her, but she is not really affected by any of the wildfires. Um, I don't really think she's going to get affected. Now, her power may get shut off, but I really don't think um, she'll be affected in any way by any of the wildfires that are currently going on out there. So everything's fine with mom. Everything's good. And, um, that's pretty much all I have. So that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night so I can get these videos uploaded. Um, this may be the end of a couple of different videos that I'll have to sneak together, but I'll have to check, um, on my last video, like which, which pieces that I've, um, included. So anyway, if I don't see you guys for a while, just know that I'm thinking of you all and that I will see you guys soon. I'm hoping to get the Camp Gotta Stitch little video snippet up, not next week, but it really depends on how my weeknights are going next week and what I can get done and whether or not I can upload the video before I go to California. So anyway, that being said, um, take care. I hope everybody has a good stitching week. Um, I'm looking forward to my stitching retreat this weekend, so that'll be fun. Camp Gotta Stitch is, it's the 22nd year, so the theme this year is Stitch 22. Uh, more de details to come on that. I'm not sure what that entails. But um, I am taking Ort jars, so when I get to camp on Friday, um, Emily, one of the ladies that works at Cross My Heart and helps um, as a camp counselor, she is bringing me some labels for the Ort jars so we can put them out on the, the tables. Um, and hopefully some lucky winners will go home with the Camp Gotta Stitch Ort jars. Um, they're just uh, candle jars that I've had on hand that I need to get out of my house. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was donating, I'm donating eight Ort jars to Camp Gotta Stitch for this weekend. So that'll be fun. Um, Hopefully I'll have pictures of those Oort jars. They're not they're not made yet. So um, hopefully I'll have pictures of the Oort jars and maybe even the winners for you um, in an in a upcoming video. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. And I hope you guys have, a, again, a good Stitchy Week. I'm looking forward to my Stitchy Weekend this weekend. And, um, yeah, the next two weeks, next two or three weeks are going to be really busy for me. So we will see you soon. All right, take care, keep on keeping on because that's all we can do, and we'll see you soon.